One of the issues Mr. James dealt with in his lifetime was, what does it mean to be a success, a significant person? After years of pondering this question, William James described success as a combination of two things. Number one, an inner ideal which is followed persistently with courage. And number two, outer achievement related to that ideal. Let's go back to number one, an inner ideal which is followed persistently with courage. I take that to mean defining a goal and having the resolve to complete it. No matter what, I'll do it or die. Promise yourself you'll read the books until your skills change. Go to the seminars until you get a handle on it. Do it until it makes sense. Practice it until you've got it right. Don't give up until you get where you want to be, however long that is. Step by step, piece by piece, book by book, seminar by seminar, do it until. Go for it. Until is a very important word. It's magic. It means that you'll never give up. Don't miss the chance to grow, to pay the price, until you learn change, grow. You'll discover some of life's great treasures when you pay that price. William James' second part to success dealt with the outer achievement related to that ideal. You need both aspects to really be a success. But what Dr. James realized about his philosophy of success was that the first part is indeed more important than the second. Going for it. As long as you're working toward your inner goal, your dream, then success is possible. But once you give up your inner vision, then you can never become successful. You never will become successful. Until doesn't even matter. Now, maybe the person who's been working on a project for 10 years can be successful in his own right. If he's honestly working toward it, doing everything, to make himself worthy of reaching the dream. Really happy with where he is, doing it until. Then maybe he is a success. It's a personal thing, going for it one step at a time. Going for small accomplishments along the way for however long it takes. So let's think about this for a moment. What outside evidence or results or proof can be seen when you accomplish your goals one step at a time. You'll start to see things change around you, little things, not major things, but little everyday things, things you may not even notice unless you are paying attention. If you're one of those who'd rather stay up late and get up late only to discover that your workplace doesn't fit your schedule and you roll out of bed cursing the alarm clock every morning, Maybe you could start with the little change of going to bed half an hour earlier than normal. And maybe you'll see, in time of course, you can't train your body overnight, maybe you'll find out that you jump out of bed in a better mood, and that your day will start better, and that you'll get more done, and that the people around you that caused you problems aren't so hard to work with after all. It all starts by making one little change and adding to it every day. You see, you can't change what's going on around you without first changing what's going on within you. Start changing how you look at mornings, and sure enough, people will start changing how they look at you. When you start changing how you think, how you act, how you treat others, how you treat yourself, when you start responding instead of reacting to life, life will start responding to you. I'm telling you that you can do it with your lifestyle. You can do it with your sales career. You can do it with your management career. You can do it with any part of your life. 